For the Gamecocks, they're going to hit some shots downfield on offense and generate takeaways defensively. Fakes the toss and across the middle. Wide open is Trey McKitty, the tight end inside the 20, and wrestled out of bounds near the 10 yard line. Passing on third downs, and two of those were for touchdowns. James Cook in the game. Quick pass. Caught. McKinney to the goal line. Marked out inside the one. Him out. You can see they were trying to get a little bit of a rub there. And looks to me like McKinney had that ball inside the pylon. Obviously, it delayed his confidence in that repaired knee. James Cook on the handoff, first down run, and he's into Gamecocks territory, pushed out of bounds inside the 35-yard line. Great skills. He's learning to be a better runner. Showed his speed there on that kick. 44 yards for him on that play. Looks like some sort of confusion in the backfield, and the Gamecocks make him pay. As you mentioned, they also brought second-level pressure. It's a loss of six on the play. Daniels will try the right sideline, and that is caught by George Pickens. Incredible catch on a one-on-one -on -one ball over John Dixon. Second and goal, Georgia. From the six-yard line, James Cook is back in the game. And this is a toss to Cook. Easy around the left side. Touchdown. As you see, once again, a couple of fold schemes, pin and pull at the point of attack. Starting tomorrow for the Jets, to his yeah. thumb is banged up. This is a handoff to McIntosh, and McIntosh has the first down as he as a pile carries him past the 45-yard line. McIntosh again with wide open space in front of him. Cuts it back inside the 25, down near the 20. White out, Mac or excuse me, McIntosh out, White back in. And here's Zamir. And look how wide open that space is. Just the easiest touchdown you'll ever see. 22 yards for Zamir White. Watch him see it on the backside, see the backside hole open up. Mari Salyer did a great job getting up. JT Daniels knows it. Doty, little trickeration back to, er, to Doty. Down the field, caught inside the 20 yard line. It's Nick Muse, the tight end. He hadn't done much offensively. A handoff, fake reserve, reverse, flea flicker. As we mentioned, one of the most physical runners, a full house backfield. And the give goes to Harris easily into the end zone, following those two fullbacks. Adam Prentice and Javon Gwynn both lined up in the backfield. Last week, he moves to Darius Hutcherson over to the right side, bringing an extra lineman. And alert the back out of the backfield. You got James Cook in there as well. Daniels with all kinds of time, takes too much time, and finally is sacked by Zach Pickens. P.I. giving him a fresh set of downs and picking up a free 15. At the 40-yard line, back to Harris again. Kevin, first down run into Georgia territory. To try this 40-yard field goal to make an 11-point game. Fifth-year senior from Mount Pleasant. Had an outstanding career. He's got one heck of a leg. Sticking on the ground. Easy first down for James Cook. He did step out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Talent is not the issue. It's learning how to play the position fully. How about James Cook? Nobody touches him. Touchdown, Bulldogs. James Cook has to deviate at all. He runs right down the hash. There's just nobody there. 
28 to 10. Mike Bobo figuring this is the only way he can beat his alma mater. Playing keep away. Hands to Harris, no way. Not even close. Oh. Now Harris with the second effort. Wow. There was never a whistle. The dogs gave up on the tackle, and Harris got it. One timeout in 17 seconds. Daniels to the sideline, and that's caught down at the 30-yard line. Oh, it's picked off now. How in the world did Jamie Robinson end up with that football? A little bit, but you see the shot that Kyrus Jackson took. Well, that's how. Is what he, a great play. How about that? Jalen Foster was the one that jarred it loose, and it ends up in Jamie Robinson's hands. Kyrus Jackson has this football. It sails a little bit. And Jalen Foster runs underneath it, and that's just enough contact. From his own 30-yard line with only nine seconds to go in the half. Under pressure and sacked very quickly by Ojolari to end the half. Kyrus Jackson. After a great punt. We'll take it near the 35. He's got daylight. Watch out here. He's got Kroger to beat. Cuts it back and Kroger saves the touchdown inside the 15. The guy that spends all his time off the line now trying to play the run in the box. White right at him. Touchdown. They waited to see where the pile was and it was clear it's another Zamir White score. It's just inside zone. And you see the push. Local kid, too, from here in Columbia, Channing Tindall. Comes back, playing for Georgia, and gets the sack. And now, under pressure again, balls out. And diving on it is Dylan Wanham. He's come in and had a great year so far. 9 of 11, this from 32 yards. And our new score is 38 to 10. Georgia. What this offense can look like going forward. Harris is a sophomore. Doty is a freshman, so start there on offense. Senior Nick Muse has been a bright spot on offense this year, and he's past the 45 yard line for a first down. Just a blocking assignment out there at wide receiver. Doty picked off. It's Campbell stepping in front, coming back the other way. Slips a tackle and is inside the 35-yard line. Plantation, Florida. He was on Jalen Brooks, and he falls off of coverage. Just reading the quarterback's eyes. That's Luke Doty. He's trying to fit it in there. And Tyson Campbell just falls right. Aggies. Defense. All over LSU tonight. Here, JT Daniels, first play of the fourth quarter. Hello. Touchdown all the way to the end zone as it's Arian Smith. Smith on the Georgia touchdown. Smith looked like he was fired out of a rocket. Out of a cannon, man. It's defense. Play defense, play running back, there's returning kicks. Amos, he'll give him breathing room. Stays on his feet near the 35 yard line. See if they can keep their perfect mark, two for two. Dodi sprints out to Muse, a career night, and it's a touchdown. drive for South Carolina and Nick Muse what a night he's had the appreciation that he has for his old teammate Mike Bobo 45 to 16 the final tonight number nine Georgia improves to six and two
on the season with a decisive victory. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.